Hello friends. The other day, we decided to clean out the pantry. I don't know, we got motivated, I found some supplies at the dollar store, so I'm gonna show you the supplies we got really quick, and a before of the pantry, and then what it looks like at the very end. So I hope you enjoy this little video, and while we're at home, we're gonna organize our house. I guess that's what we're doing these days. And I have to do it as cost effective as possible. So I hope you enjoy this little video and I hope it helps you to organize something in your own home. So you can leave a comment below if you found something in your house that you've gotten cleaned up and organized. Um, and we can all kind of do this together. So here is the before of the pantry right here. All right, so this is what I got from the dollar store. I got two of these bins. I'm gonna do them for like pasta. Um, actually, I might do one for rice because we don't fill our other one as full with rice and then put pasta in these or something. I don't know. And then I actually got some of these containers. I use these ones for my drinks in the fridge. And it's annoying because they don't stack on top of each other. So I want to use them for cans in the pantry. But Abby had an idea to get these extra little things that go over the top of them. And then you can stack them that way. So for just one more dollar, I can stack them two deep and then I can put three across. All right, we just got home and we're gonna work on this little area. It doesn't look like we have a whole lot of cans in here, but I think a lot of them are back here behind. So this is what it looks like before. And I do have the cereal containers. You can see we're kind of going through cereal. We might actually make some Rice, Rice Krispie, Krispie treats with those because they're just not eating them and these as well. And we just need to fill up some of our cereals, but then like our rice container, we don't need this huge one for rice. So I might switch this one to one of the smaller ones and I can use this one for cereal, oatmeal. This one, it does get used up because when he puts his oatmeal in here, that whole thing usually is full. All right, this quickly got <laughs> a little bit bigger than we anticipated. But how are you doing so far, Ash? Good, you have all of these done and you're trying to make the big. Yep, all right, and then I, yeah, that's all recycle. And then I started doing this um, bucket here. It has all of our plastic supplies in it. It was kind of it getting a little out of control. So I started doing this one. All right, so I redid this whole thing. The boxes never fit into the container, except for these ones down here. And we would like to reuse our bags. So what I've done is I have all the new bags from the box that are right there. And these are all ones that are perfectly good to reuse, whether they had cookie crumbs or chips or something in them. They're all free to use, but they're on top. So we're gonna reuse those ones first. And then the same goes for this. I've got all the reusable sandwich size baggies in this baggie here and then these are all the full size new sandwich bags and the and the snack size bags in that container easy to get out but I can also put the lid on it because before everything sat on top of it and it used to drive me crazy all right so I've lost all my helpers and <laughs> this is what it looks like in the end all right, so starting from the top, I already had some of the buckets up here. I already had my drink bucket on this side and my paper supplies. This has like napkins and plastic forks. And this one has some more, more birthday supplies like the birthday napkins and things like that. And then I moved my pasta box up on top here as well as one of the baking boxes. That's more like the candles and the cupcake liners and that kind of stuff. But this stuff here is more of like, I'll just give you a little sneak peek. There's the chocolate chips and my onion soup mix and the marshmallows and powdered sugar. So that kind of stuff in that when we get to way more often, especially with Abby baking like every day. <laughs> so then I moved the snack bucket to this shelf as well. And this has like chips and granola bars and crackers and all kinds of stuff in it. And then over here we did a jar of Epsom salt. It was in a package and that just kept getting shoved around on the shelf. And I have labels, I just gotta go find them. So we just kinda made sure that everyone knew what it was and this is not sugar. And pour that on your, on your cereal. Then we did, I think we put four boxes of pasta into this container from the garage. 
So then they can just pour that into the pot when they want to make pasta. Same with the rice there. And then we did two boxes of cornmeal into that container right back there um, uh, so that we can make some corn dogs. We actually got that idea from seeing the cornmeal. We did that one last summer, but we might as well do it now. And then Jason makes his own oatmeal in the mornings and then just puts some brown sugar on it. He usually has this full, I just need to get the container from the garage and fill that back up. Moving down here to the second shelf, I've got this box of baggies all organized like I showed you before. Then we've got all the cereals all on one shelf, including these two left over from the kids' school lunches. And then here is the wonderful shelf that Abby, she did this all, her and Ashley. I was really like just doing the background work and they put this whole thing together. They even got the cardboard and had dad cut it because these little pokies were going through the shelving right here. So he put the cardboard down and then they were able to make a little shelf. And it just worked out really good. They actually turned the little things sideways so that they had a longer shelf going all the way across for all these buckets to go on top as well as some extra cans. So I can see that I could actually use one more or even two more of these containers to go across in that section there. So I might go back and get some more. So then this one all has green beans and olives and soup and pineapple, cream of chicken soup, cream of mushroom soup. And then these are all green or beans, black beans. Then we've got mayonnaise right here and Alfredo sauce on that side, tucked into that side. Okay, then the bottom shelf, I didn't really do much. I just organized all the lunch boxes. They need a deep clean and I'll probably do that another day because we don't need lunch boxes again until next September. <laughs> but now the toaster has a good spot. I am gonna get another container for that bread flour. It's different than regular flour. And then my instant pot, my mixer, Abby gets that out about every day or every other day. And then there's oils and that is our emergency batteries and flashlights right down there. All right, that's it you guys. This is an overview of the entire closet, top to bottom. So I hope that inspired you to get something organized in your house. This is the main area that we cleaned out right here and I'm still gonna make a trip to the dollar store to get two more containers right there, but can't go for about a week. So take care and happy organizing.